just how people are preparing for the Christmas uh, day across the country and shortly we'll be crossing over to Mombasa. But before that, uh, let's take a look at other stories making headlines. Business owners in Isli are optimistic of an uptick in investments in the area as the county government sets up better infrastructure. Kenya Power has also committed to boost connections in the area to make Isli a 24-hour business hub. KTN's Abiyagina has the details. Isili Commercial Hub is known to be home of fairly affordable imports from all manner of goods, ranging from textile, clothing to electronics. The area which is predominantly inhabited by Somalis is also known as the small Mogadishu, a beehive of business. Ile Bashara, the total investment in Isili is about 100 billion shillings. Businesses, both Kenyan and Somali, have contributed immensely to the phenomenal growth of Isli since the dawn of the millennium. The area is now beaming with shopping malls as demand for cheap imports continues to draw shoppers. On average, Isili receives about 100,000 shoppers per day, which business owners feel can be scaled up if infrastructure gaps are fixed. And the vision I have for this uh, Isili business is to have a 24-hour economy so that we can run business even at night. One big challenge is about uh, power. Uh, sometimes we have a lot of uh, blackouts and that interferes with business. But you can now see they are promised that they are going to improve service. We are also appealing to the county government in terms of water, provision of water is no adequate, although individuals have tried. Isli is a big consumer of uh, cargo and uh, Isli supplies many parts of the country. Many uh, rural areas come and get their goods from Isli. Um, the business corporates in the CBD also get their goods from... So there's a lot of business volumes that's transacted in Isli. Despite the promising business prospects, businesses have had to contend with lack of clean water and piling garbage, which has been a major turn-off for shoppers. Mambo ya maji katika Isili pia tunashida. Tumetato kupata maji. Hakuna miji. Itaendelea bila maji ama stima. Hakuna haja ya kutupa taka mbele ya yumba yako. Wamejaribu. Lakini haitoshi. Na juzi tuleenda na paka wa sasa tumeenda kotini. Na kuambia watu wa county government. We will not pay rents ya mayumba, atulipi ma license ya maduka, na hiyo tukikataa basi watakuwa hawana, hawana ata mishare ya kulipa na watu. The business owners say if they do not get proper services, they threaten they will not pay Nairobi County for trade and garbage collection fees as the county government had failed to ensure essential services are delivered. With easily contributing about 35% of total revenue to Nairobi County, a conducive business environment is expected to boost job creation at the same time improve revenue collection. Abiyagina, KTN Business.